although denim jackets being a beloved fashion staple, creating their patterns is not as challenging as it may appear. I'll show you how to draft the patterns for this denim jacket from scratch. Hi, my name is Jean and this channel is all about pattern making. If you enjoy my videos, join my email list. Once a week, you will get extra pattern making lessons from me. You can join my email list on my website, patternstudio101.com. We are going to draft this denim jacket pattern. I remember I really enjoyed wearing this kind of denim jacket even 20 years ago. And it's fascinating to see that the same design is still popular today. Denim has truly stood the test of time. While denim jackets have always been a beloved fashion staple, creating the patterns for them isn't as difficult as it may seem. I'll be showing you how to make this jacket pattern entirely from scratch. I'll break it down into a series of episodes, spanning over maybe three, four episodes. So make sure to stay tuned for the entire journey. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Let's take a look at what measurement you need to make this pattern. Chest circumference, shoulder width, those two are body measurements from your model or your client. And you need the jacket length and sleeve length. Those measurements are your design factor. As you can see, this is not a boxy silhouette, short and fitted jacket. So I'm going to add four inches ease at the chest. You can add a little bit more and less, depending on the fit you want. Draw a rectangle. Vertical is your jacket length. Horizontal is half of the chest plus half the amount of ease. Because I wanted to have four inches ease in total, I will add two inches here. Find a midpoint. Then move one eighth of an inch toward the center back. Draw a side seam. So my front, is quarter of an inch bigger than the back on the half body, right? From the center back neck point, find eight inches and a half and draw an underarm line. Depending on the model's height, if she is very tall, then nine inches or nine inches and a quarter would be a good starting point. Let's draw the back. From the center back neck point, chest divided by 12, go up one inch. From the center back neck point again, half of the shoulder width, go down three eighth of an inch. Connect to the high shoulder point. I'm going to widen the neck width. So from the high shoulder point, three quarters of an inch along the shoulder line. And from the center back neck point, take out quarter of an inch. Then draw a neckline. From the shoulder point, measure in half of an inch, draw a cross back guideline. Then draw a back armor curve. Before I draw a side seam, one inch and three quarter from the hemline. So this is going to be the hem bend. And I want to have a curved side seam like this. But if you want to have a straight side seam, go ahead. I took out three quarters of an inch at the side seam.
I'm going to draw these internal lines. These are all your design lines. So my numbers are just examples. From the center back neck point, move down four inches and a half. Draw a yoke line. From the yoke line, quarter of an inch at the armhole. Make a dart with three inches length. So we pinched out the gaping at the armhole, quarter of an inch. Let's zoom out. I'm going to use this point to draw a vertical line. Find a midpoint at the hem and connect two points. I'm going to reduce the waist here. So three eighths of an inch on each side. Make a dart like this. As you can see, I drew slightly curved lines as a dart to legs. Measure the actual hem length without dart and the side seam we took out and make the hem band the same length. This is the hem band and the center bag will be folded, right? We drafted the back body. Let's draw the front. Chest divided by 12 on both vertical and horizontal lines. From the center front, half of the shoulder width. Go down one inch and a half. Connect two points. From the high shoulder point, Take out three quarters of an inch along the shoulder line. We did the same at the back, right? And measure the back shoulder length and find the same length on the front. From the point, measure in three quarters of an inch to find the cross chest guideline. Draw a front armhole curve. From the center front neck point we found, I'm going to go down half of an inch. You can go down a little more or less. So you can decide where your neck drop will be. Draw a front neck curve. From the center front neck point, add three quarters of an inch for the button closer and draw a front edge line. So your center front overlap will be one inch and a half in total, right? Okay, let's stop here for today. I'll continue to draw the front and color sleeve in the next videos. Are you a pattern maker? Join my Facebook group, Pattern Making Professionals. I'm there to answer your questions and there are great pattern makers to help each other. The link is in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have a beautiful week. See you next time. Hello.